Uh, I just like this meeting. Like, yeah. This meeting. Okay, thank you. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, let's start with Al Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so for without further ado, yeah, so this is me, Dr. Shima, and I'm going to share my screen soon. Uh, uh, just going to say that I'm not going to share my camera, yeah? <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyway, so let's have a look at our slides. So where's the slides? Okay, share. So can you see my screen? Yeah? Yeah. So this, uh, yes, yes, I do. Okay, thank you. So I will not like, uh, I think I just, uh, how to say, scroll the PowerPoint instead of playing the slideshow. Uh, easier that way, easier for me to control. Yeah, so uh, Alhamdulillah, now we have 60 participants. Uh, okay, for, for those who are here, uh, please look at the chat link. There's the attendance link. Yeah, so do jot down your attendance. Uh, oh, by the way, there are marks. And only if, if you are international students who can't join the Zoom, then we have exceptions. Yeah, but there are marks for coordination. Yeah, for, for your info. Uh, later, I'll show you the assessment. So that's this coordination marks, uh, about 20% in total. This includes all your discipline and everything, yeah? So whatever we provide you, just like FYP lah, yeah? Uh, so FYP, there's like, if you like not discipline or you don't follow the rules, these marks will be deducted. So I'll explain more about those uh, stuff later, yeah? So, okay, uh, this is the most important one. So we're gonna start our IAP. So for those who already got their offer letter and everything, so next week is your first day of uh, internship, yeah? Uh, so here there's an asterisk, yeah? So it's not subject to change, actually. This depends. Some students, they haven't got their job yet, yeah? Uh, so, so we allow, yeah? We still allow you to get a job, to secure a job until the fourth week of um, the semester, yeah? So that means the last date is actually 1st April. So please jot down. The last date for you to get any internship position is 1st April 2022. Yeah, uh, but for those who already got uh, an internship uh, offer, yeah, so congratulations. Yeah, so please be, how to say, positive about this, yeah, and be happy to start your new work. This is how working life will be. So um, hopefully you got a good boss, yeah, so we're praying that we get a good boss and we get a good exposure from the company, yeah. So uh, here we also like to inform you the personnel, yeah, so already... I guess by now, all of you already know me and Dr. Liana, but uh, in case you need some, you know, some signatures and everything, yeah, uh, so you can contact the department. Yeah, because like some uh, company, they want, yeah, they want something from the departments to sign, yeah. So you can actually contact for BIT students, yeah, Sister Ziati, and for uh, BCS students, yeah, you can actually uh, contact Sister Junaida. Yeah, so the last time it was actually someone else. Yeah, uh, so even I myself haven't met Sister Junaida because we haven't been to the office. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but uh, this is the thing. Yeah, uh, please, if you need some kind of reference letter or anything, contact them. Oh, but if you need insurance, not them. Yeah, if you need insurance, you need to actually contact STAT, uh, S T A D D, right? Uh, Ethica Insurance is actually our insurance for all students because some company do ask for it. So throughout your internship, you will be covered, yeah? Uh, so you have an insurance with us and it's under Ethica Insurance. How to spell? I don't think we put it in this um, slide over here, yeah? It's E-T-I-Q-A, yeah? In case you need one. If you don't need, uh, it's okay, yeah? So uh, this is the one that I was actually informing you just now, yeah, the assessment. So this part. So everything... Uh, about your discipline, about your attendance, is captured over here, this 20%. Yeah, and um, usually you get this, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, as long as you follow the rules, you get this 20%. Yeah, so this actually that means your A, right? Uh, yes, and this is from the examiner. So please bear in mind, examiner is actually lecturer. Yeah, uh, and then a company supervisor is the company uh, boss, lah, uh, the one that you'll be reporting to. So when I say bear in mind, it's just because of the name some students, they get confused, yeah? So that's why here we emphasize company, yeah? And then here we emphasize examiner, so which is your lecturer. And when do we assign your examiner? We haven't assigned yet at the moment. We will assign once everybody has got their placement, yeah? So when everybody got their placement, which is in week four, so we will assign you your examiner. And this examiner will actually mark all of this, yeah? Uh, so your attitude, uh, your monthly report, and then your final report. Yeah? So this is where 
he or she has to report uh, or perhaps has to mark you. Yeah? And uh, if you have problems as well. So, of course, you can contact us. But the examiner will be also like, you know, the next best person for you to contact. So, not everything. Uh, especially, uh, say, for example, you're not happy with the bosses or, or stuff. Yeah? So, it's either to us or to your examiner. Because sometimes, examiner, because they only like take care two or three students. They don't take care of all of you. Yeah? For your info, me and Dr. Liana are taking care of a lot of students. Yeah? And especially me, BIT. I think like having a nightmare, yeah? 70 students, not including my own classes. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, so hopefully, yeah, if you have problems, if it's like minor ones, yes, you can contact me. But if it's like more deep or perhaps, you know, more heavy problems, the best is actually your examiner. Because, uh, yeah, she or he will only like, you know, be in charge of three to four students or perhaps less. Yeah, so they have more time to concentrate on you and to follow up your cases, yeah? Okay, so anyway, this is the breakdown. So remember this breakdown. So maybe you want to screen capture this, you can, yeah? And then uh, this is the part where the most important thing that you need to understand, like what to do after this, yeah? So some students, they already asked me, yeah? Uh, okay, Madam, what do we do after this? So, uh, I mean, after they got the offer letter, yeah? So this process flow, it was already informed to you earlier, but uh, in case you forget, let's go through again, yeah? Uh, so we start off with this. So uh, first off is this one, attending this briefing. So you, all of you are here, alhamdulillah. Yeah? So just now I saw there's 70 now. Yeah? Okay, so there's 70 participants. So, uh, so hopefully all of you can actually remember all of these steps. Yeah? So uh, here, if you got your alpha letter, yeah, uh, you need to actually like... Um, Oh, it doesn't say, yeah? <laughs> but you actually like, have to put everything uh, inside IAP dashboard. Yeah? So I think we missed one, one box over here where you have to fill up your IAP dashboard. Yeah? So because once you send or you um, put in your particulars in the IAP dashboard, you actually like uh, create a verification email to your company. Uh, yeah? uh, so this is the thing. You can actually see the flow, send an email to your supervisor for verification. Yeah? Uh, so we forgot one box where you have to fill up this placement. If you don't fill up, this thing will not be generated. Yeah, it has to be filled up first and then this email will be sent to your uh, supervisor. And what do you do next? Because you have filled up, you know that this will be generated. It's automatic, yeah, by the way. So you can remind your supervisor to click uh, placement verification. Yeah. So the company supervisor has to click this and uh, the dashboard will actually like change your status. This is actually your status. Yeah. So first it was like, thing inactive yeah and then verified and then once it's verified yeah and then you check your uh, status just to see this verified and then your status will be changed to active so that means you have access your dashboard so if you don't access your dashboard yeah, this will not change yeah so you need to access your dashboard so that you can actually see that this status changed to active yeah so anyway these are the steps in bullet points yeah so this is flowchart uh, version and then this is just uh, in notes version yeah so send verification and then um, uh, it's similar to the reply from Kulia that requires you provided to verify your IP placement. Yeah? So last time, yeah, it was actually a bit manual. Yeah? So you have to actually do this all manually. But Alhamdulillah, we have this IP dashboard nowadays. Yeah? So uh, once you fill up, uh, all your supervisor, company supervisor needs to do is just click on the link uh, from the email. Yeah? Okay, so the start date for IP is, as I said just now, yeah? so next week. 7 March, yeah, until week 4. So for those who hasn't got any job yet, it's okay, yeah. So don't be worried too much. You still have like 3 weeks to secure. Uh, but 3 weeks is also a short time, yeah. But don't be lazy, like in other words, yeah. Still try to get a job. And if uh, you still can't get a job, uh, there are still openings inside IIUM. So for those who like, you know, it's already week 3 and you're already panicky, yeah. Uh, so go and get a job from ITD. Uh, IAT, yeah, our own IAT. And then there's a few projects under some of our lecturers. Yeah? So that one you have to ask us, yeah, because there's actually some projects under Madam Azian, under Dr. Sadri, yeah? under uh, Dr. Hafiza, I think, right? Uh, Dr. Muna as well, yeah, so your previous IAP dashboard, I mean, IAP coordinator, sorry. Uh, so she also has some projects, yeah. So all of this, in case you cannot get, um, any other jobs, yeah? so you can contact them to get a placement. Okay, so if you feel, say for example, uh, nobody wants to offer you anything, yeah, you have to inform us so that by week five, yeah, 
um, if you don't inform us, your status will change to terminated. Yeah. Uh, so that's why you need to inform us. So, so by week three, you have to like, of course, the last day is week four. Yeah. So by week three, you have to really buckle up. Yeah. So that you know your placement, and or if it's on the way or something like that. Yeah. So you need to know all these status. Yeah. Because if not, you have to inform us, and we need to inform. Um, so you need to apply study leave. Okay, uh, because you could not get any uh, positions. Okay, so here, yeah. So if you fail courses, uh, see, uh, this is another thing very, very important, yeah. So the results are out yesterday, Tuesday, <laughs> but anyway, it's out, yeah. Uh, so check your results. So in inshallah, all of you who are here, you pass, yeah. Uh, but in case, in case you fail any of the courses, yeah, and it's already in the plan that you're supposed to do IAP this semester, yeah. So please ask, um, or inform us first and then arrange for special exams. But to do this uh, special exams arrangement, it's not with us. Yeah, this is with KICT Academy. Yes, yeah, so you have to call KICT Academy, email them Yeah, that you want to have this special exam so that you can actually uh, retake your finals. Uh, whatever you need to do lah to make it pass. Yeah, Because only if you pass all courses, can you continue with this uh, internship. Yeah, If you don't pass all courses, you cannot continue. Okay, So please contact us. if. Uh, your result is not accordingly lah. yeah and then this is the one that i was saying just now yeah the last date to confirm is actually first april okay so jot down or perhaps this is the important date for you right now yeah first april okay next uh any questions okay i'm going to pause here any questions so far so this is what you have to do you all okay okay madam okay thank you so much yeah all right uh, so uh thanks for saying that yeah and here is the next okay during internship what to do okay so now you already start your work so just now before yeah so look at the title yeah pre-start and start that means like you know before you start and what to do yeah so now you already start so everything has been like you have uh uh put all your details inside iap dashboard and so forth yeah so the first thing that you need to do is actually send your monthly report so when to send yeah so because you're gonna start 7 march yeah so the first Report is going to be 15 April. So this is your second important date. Yeah. Uh, so this is when you need to submit. So say for example, maybe you don't start that early, but we said just now the last date is 1st April, right? Uh, so two weeks is enough already to say what has been going on. Yeah. So here 15 April will be the best date um, for you to submit your uh, first report. Yeah. So this first report, so notice the flow. Yeah. So this uh, fill in your monthly report, click save. Yeah. And then click submit. Uh, remember to click submit. Uh, this is what happened. Yeah? Uh, we have to actually uh, remind you again and again. Many students, they press save, but they did not press submit. Yeah? So this is very important. Press submit. Why? Because then only your company supervisor can give you comments yeah? and say approve. Because if he or she doesn't say approve, your examiner will not get this report. So remember, examiner will have 5% on this monthly report. So she has to mark 5 I mean, she has to receive six monthly reports and it's going to be total of 5%. Yeah? But if she didn't get it, how can she mark it? Yeah? Not she, lah, he or she. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm being biased here. It's he or she. Uh, but this is the thing. Yeah? Save, submit. Uh, so these two steps are very, very important. Yeah. So then it will be sent to your supervisor. So remember, yeah, supervisor is company. Lecturer we call as a minor, yeah. Uh, so company supervisor will give some comments and say approve. Some company supervisor are very relaxed where they just say approve without any comments. But some will give a lot of comments, yeah. So uh, here the examiner has to jot down the comments so that they can advise you accordingly. See, the supervisor has a lot of complaints on you, <laughs> yeah. So they will actually put it there as well, yeah. And then the examiner has to read this. Uh, that's why you have to send on the 15 April is to give time for the examiner to read this and give the feedback to you, yeah. Uh, but if the uh, supervisor doesn't say anything, that means you have been doing well. So the examiner also will not say anything back to you. Yeah. So here notice, yeah. So we have to have six monthly reports in total. So we have calculated, yeah. Uh, so okay, because I'm showing screen one screen at a time, so I'm not. I can't show you my calendar. So 15 April will be the first, yeah, and then followed by May, 15 May, June, July, August. But the last one, yeah, is second September, lah. Yeah, we cannot send 15 September because it's already la last day. Yeah? So what I meant by that is actually because of this, you can't send on 15 September because you're already like finished your internship. So the last report will be sent on the 2nd of uh, 
September. So here, if you follow the proper dates, yeah. Okay, going back to this one. Okay, so first report submit by 15 April. Yeah, so and remember six monthly reports in total. Okay. Uh, so, so what do you write in the report? Okay, this is something else. Yeah, we don't have a template for you to write. So uh, these are the tasks. That's why we don't have a template. Yeah. Each company will have different tasks, right? So you write the things that you will be doing for that company. Yeah. So submit the monthly report through the IAP dashboard. Uh, does it say what it's supposed to write? Okay. So write. You know, maybe you are assigned to do uh, troubleshooting or creating some web pages and things like that. So write down and list down all the tasks that you've been assigned. So the best way is to do like this. Yeah. Uh, week one, what was your assignment? Week two, what's your assignment? Week three and so forth. Yeah. Uh, so you follow according to week, it'll be more structured. Yeah. Uh, so you list down all the things that you'll be doing each week. Okay, so that's what you write inside your monthly report. Yeah. So we do not have any special template for you because each different company, different tasks that will be given to you. Yeah. And uh, IAP visit. Yeah. So for your info, yeah, there's IAP visit. Uh, it'll be conducted twice during your internship. So the first visit is during the early three months. The second visit is the last three months. But now, bear in mind, yeah, actually it's not compulsory, this twice internship. The last one is compulsory because this one is actually because we have to, uh, the examiners has to mark you. yeah. But the first visit, say you don't have any problems. Everything is smooth sailing. yeah. Um, so you can or you, uh, if you want to skip this, it's actually possible. yeah. Uh, so now about this visit, it's not that the examiner will arrange this visit. Yeah? You have to set the visit for them. Yeah? So you have to actually like uh, contact your examiner, find their free time uh, to visit your company. Yeah? And this, that's why I say yeah, the first is actually not compulsory because why? See, if you don't have any problems, no need for them to uh, come and visit. But see, you're not happy. Yeah? <laughs> see, you're not happy with the company. Then you might want to actually have this visit because you want your examiner to talk to your company supervisor. Yeah? So the examiner will be like your middle person lah, to help you voice out your concern. Yeah, So you have to talk to your examiner first, what are your problems that you're facing, then arrange for the meeting, and then uh, get your supervisor free time as well, Yeah, and then have the meeting. Yeah, And during that time, your examiner will actually like express your concern. Okay, So that's why you have to really be, uh, how to say, uh, you need to contact your examiner if you have any problems. Yeah. Uh, so he or she will be the middle person for you. I mean, for you to put your complaints in because sometimes yeah, we just work, right? We are not, how to say, we cannot complain straight away. Yeah, I mean, we cannot straight away complain to our supervisor. Yeah, so it's um, it's considered rude, lah. Yeah, uh, so we will talk to the examiner first so that he or she can actually help you to express your concern. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Yeah, and what to write in your report is also clear. Yeah, so write weekly basis. Yeah, so don't like um. You can also do monthly basis, but it's not so structured. Yeah? So weekly basis will be much better. Okay, now towards the end. So towards the end, what do you do? Yeah? So look at the title over here. Towards the end of the internship phase. Um, first week before and one week after IEP end date. So notice, yeah, this is actually where you have to submit your final report. Yeah? Uh, so look at your... Uh, we already told you just now, yeah, 2nd September. So try, try to access earlier actually. Yeah? Try to make the arrangement for your second visit. Remember about your second visit just now? Yeah, so this second visit is during the last three months. But don't towards the last week, yeah? So try to make it early, like two weeks before. Or we say just now one week before, right? Uh, but yeah, but if you can make it earlier also, it's fine, yeah? But uh, one week before is actually like your last resort, yeah? Uh, so when I say the last resort over here, because if they mark you early, uh, it's easier to see, yeah? Um, if there's any problems, yeah, easier for us to manage if there's problems, yeah. So, so one week before the end of internship, yeah. So submit your final report and then um send. Uh, once you submit, I think you have to send. Uh, this will be sent to your. Uh, sorry, sorry. Your IAP dashboard, yeah, will send assessment to your your examiner so actually i'm confused right now yeah examiner or company actually once you find a report yeah it'll be submitted to the iap dashboard and your iap dashboard will actually send two things yeah one to the company actually and the other one is actually to your examiner yeah uh, so um i think there's something wrong with this flowchart that's why i got lost yeah 
Okay, let me just re, re, re say this out loud. Yeah. So once you press submit, it will send assessment to your company supervisor. And once your company supervisor assess, then only your examiner can evaluate your final report. Uh, yeah. So your company supervisor has to access first your report. So it's not your examiner first, yeah. It's your company. Yeah. Uh, so we lost the link to the examiner. That's why I said there's one box which is not there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, we need to actually improve on this flowchart, but uh, this is the flow, yeah. So you need to submit the report. The report will actually be sent to your company supervisor. He or she has to say that uh, they have to fill up uh, assessment, yeah, forty percent. Remember just now, forty percent. And then once they fill up, then only the report link will be sent to your examiner, and your examiner can actually uh, um, evaluate you. Once you send all of this, yeah, if you do it, okay. Um, actually, I already saw, yeah, in your IFP dashboard. Once you submit this link. If everything is sent nicely, yeah, you will get a survey form. Yeah. So this survey form you have to fill up. Uh, answer the survey form as a student. You need to uh, why you need to fill up, yeah. You get for your five percent. Remember, just now we say 20%. Yeah, let me just scroll up a little bit just to remind you, yeah. So this 20% over here, actually, 15 will be given early if you don't uh how to say uh do any things which is like giving you penalty where we have to deduct your marks yeah uh, so so five percent will only be given at the end only after you have submitted the survey yeah uh, so this is what we're going to do yeah so five percent will only be given if you submit a survey so you have to fill up the survey yeah and then remind supervisor if they don't assess you yeah so this survey link will come out automatically yeah but say you ask your examiner uh, yeah do they get the supervisor marks if he or she say no that means your company supervisor has not assessed you. So you need to remind them, yeah? So final report submission must be via dashboard. So it's not via email, yeah? It's via the dashboard, IAP dashboard. So please alert with the days left during your duration, yeah? So if it's stated 14 days, means 30 days. Okay, this is what, what is this uh, all about, yeah? Say, for example, 2nd September is your last date, yeah? Don't on 2nd September everything was submitted, yeah? Because actually, yeah, we have, we cut off the time at midnight. So 2nd September midnight actually, yeah? Uh, not on the second, so basically on first September. Uh, first September midnight is actually your last day. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is the thing, yeah. So anyway, whatever it is, send it early, then everything will be fine. Yeah. Not too late, not on the last day itself. Yeah. And this is what we need to get from you. Six monthly report, final report, yeah, answer survey. And then uh, this is what you have to do. Yeah, remind supervisor to assess. Once we get all of this. Uh, then we can actually mark you accordingly, yeah. And then the examiner, your lecturer can actually submit all your assessment. If you don't get this, yeah, how can the examiner access you? Yes, so he or she has to wait for all of this, only he can access you, yeah. And about this um supervisor reminder, yeah. So you cannot see actually, yeah, whether he or she has assessed. You can only like um remind them once you submit uh, that one first reminder, and then you can ask your examiner, can he or she see the marks? If uh, they say they cannot, that means your company supervisor has not assessed. Uh, yeah, that's how you check. Yeah, because you cannot see the marks that they have given you. Yeah, so the only way for you to check, the first reminder just now, yeah, and the second reminder is you ask your examiner first, yeah. So your examiner can tell. Yeah, your examiner can tell whether your supervisor has assessed you or not. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pause now. Any questions? Uh, there's a question in the chat box, Tashima. Okay, so what does it say? Yeah? Mm, okay, attendance link. Uh, oh, the last okay, one. Don't, don't, yeah, no, okay, at the bottom, yeah. For the monthly report, can the students also view the feedbacks? I don't think so, yeah. Uh, it's only in the... I'm not sure, yeah. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure actually, yeah. I have to go and log in as one of you and uh, we have to go and check the previous student. Maybe we get back, yeah, Nurul Adiba. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah. Maybe yes, maybe no. You you can actually see that your report has been submitted. That one, yes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure whether you can see the feedbacks or not. Unless, uh, we get back to you on this in the chat, I guess, later on. Yeah, in our WhatsApp group. Not in this chat, in the WhatsApp group, yeah? Okay, so one more question. Let's say my internship period ends later than 2nd. Oh, no, no, yeah? Say, for example, okay, say you start 1st April, yeah? 
um, accordingly lah yeah? accordingly. So one week or two weeks before. Okay, uh, that's how you actually um, uh, submit your last monthly report. Yeah, so you follow your last day. So your last day say is 15 September. Yeah, uh, so one week before you submit all of those stuff. Yeah, so not second. So second if it's, if everyone's following the tentative date. Yeah, second is only like if everyone's following this uh, tentative date. So one week before second, yeah, actually. Uh, so same thing, yeah. So if your date is 15 September, so one week before 15, yeah. So we need the buffer one week. That's why just now it says one week at the back here, yeah. So I mean, if I just put this to the side, one week before, yeah. So that we have this buffer that everything is going to go uh, smoothly. Meaning that we'll be submitting both final and oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so no, Amira, so the answer to your question is yes. Uh, yeah, so the, the only thing that I'm not sure about is this feedback, whether you can see or not. And um, as for examiner visit, does it have to be a physical? Oh, no, it's online, yeah? It depends on your examiner, actually. So some of your examiner are nice enough. <laughs> they want to go to your company. Yes, it can actually be a company visit, yeah? But say, for example, everybody is like tight with their schedule and everything. It can also be online visit, yeah? Uh, so, yes. So to, the answer to your question is actually yes lah. So it's actually most of the time it's online. Yeah? Throughout the MCO, it was always online because of the MCO. Yeah. But now everything's back to normal. Not really normal lah, but you get what I mean. Yeah. So some is actually practicing work in office again. Yeah. So, uh, but if your supervisor or your, uh, or your examiner yeah, doesn't have time, then we can actually arrange for online. Yeah. So... Yeah, I guess uh, the thing is, if it's if you want to make it happen, it's going to be online, yeah? But physical, you have to really make sure that both, both examiner and supervisor is okay with this. So whatever it is, yeah, you have to make sure your um, your company supervisor is uh, okay with this, yeah? Because he or she has to be free to actually entertain your examiner. Yeah, because I do have a, a few of our lecturers, yeah? They like to go and visit, yeah? Because they want to see personally, yeah? How are you at the company, yeah? I hope that answers your question, yeah, Azhar. Any other questions? Who will be the yes. examiner? Like the again, allow uh, them. Who will be the examiner? Exam who will be the examiner? Uh, the examiner uh, will actually give you the marks, yeah. So we will assign your examiner on the fourth week. At the moment, you will not know, yeah. By the fourth week, where to submit your reports, right? Uh, then you will actually know, yeah. So it's actually our job to assign you. So at the moment when you start first week, you don't see as any examiner. Yeah, you will see it from the IEP dashboard. Yeah. So from your IEP dashboard, you will actually see your uh, examiner name. Yeah. So by week four, you will see them. Okay. Okay, madam. All right. Okay. As Han, madam, my status is rejected. Should I apply again? Okay. Uh, yes, you need to apply again because then only I can put approve. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. So yes. Please uh, apply again. You can apply again, right? Uh, and then I'll put approve. Yeah, and then I'll give you the link to join the WhatsApp group. Because only when it's approved, you get the link to the WhatsApp group. Okay, if we start the intern late, do we end? Oh, no. Yeah, so Shafiq, as mentioned just now, yeah, 7 March to, 2, uh, to 2nd September, only if you are following the semester date. Yeah, but say you start late, you need to... Um, follow 180 days or 26 weeks, yeah? So whatever the date you start, so as long as it's before the last date, which is 1st April, yeah? So maybe you start on the 15th of March, for example, yeah? So that's possible, or you start on the 20th of March. So that's possible, but you have to add accordingly your end date, yeah? So when I say add accordingly, it means you add uh, 26 weeks. So Dr. Liana, maybe you can share the calendar, yeah? Right now, I don't have the link. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually a calendar to calculate. Actually, you can use any Google uh, calendar. Yeah, you put in 180 days, so the gap must be 180 days. Yeah, uh, so yeah, you can choose any calendar, it doesn't have to be calendar from us. So, we also have like a standard calendar that we use. Yeah, uh, it's just a website link anyway. Uh, but you make sure it's 180 days, uh, then because 180 days is six months, right? Uh, so that's why I asked you to actually follow that uh, calendar. Madam, my intention started next week, but I didn't know my supervisor. Is it okay to know? Okay, yes. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so once you know who is your uh, internship uh, company supervisor, then only you fill up the details in the IAP dashboard. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes the company just give off a letter without assigning your supervisor. That's okay. So you start work, you join the company, and then you get the info. Yeah, you get the info who's your company 
supervisor and then you fill up this info in your IAP dashboard. Once you did fill this up, uh, then only your company supervisor will get the verification link here. Yeah? Okay, any other questions? Okay, so no more yeah, from the chat. Okay, no more from the voice as well. Okay, so um, two new messages, okay. Oh, thank you. You can check. Okay, yeah, this is the calendar. This is what I was saying. Yeah, we also follow some uh, internet calendar, but this is the one that we are following yeah, because they can put the duration. So you can put the 180 days there, then you can see your end date. So you follow accordingly. Yeah, and this is what you put inside your IAP dashboard. Yeah, okay. All right. So next, okay, what's, what to do next? Yeah, I'm going to put this chat aside, or perhaps I just put, I minimize for a while. Yeah, uh, I'm just. Just X for a while. Okay, so these are some other process flow that you need to know. Yeah, uh, the first one we remind you during the early parts of internship. Yeah, last the one that we give the early briefing. Yeah, uh, so but for those who hasn't still got a job, yeah, this is what you have to do. Yeah, uh, you have to check your prerequisite for internship. You pass all your courses. Yeah, update your graduation audit and then um enter the details in IAP. So just now like uh, Azhan, yeah, just now he said that his status is actually rejected yeah, because his case is different yeah, because he has to go through appeal. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, so now he's actually, his case has been approved. So yeah, resubmit again so that I can approve it so that once you approve, you actually get the WhatsApp, uh, uh, how to say link. Yeah, and then uh, the WhatsApp link, what is it for? Yeah, so the WhatsApp link is actually because we, the coordinators are inside the WhatsApp group. So if you have concerns, uh, you can actually post questions there. Um, and if you have questions that we already answered before, yeah, okay, sometimes your questions is repeated questions, yeah. So your friends can help to answer the questions, yeah. Say we like ignore your question, yeah, not just because you want to ignore. Sometimes we actually saw the question is being repeated many times, yeah. Uh, so one of your friends, please uh, answer the question, yeah. Uh, so normally we will answer if it's a fresh question, yeah. But if you repeat it so many times, yeah, we just get. How to say? Uh, we just we wait lah. <laughs> we wait for a while for others to actually answer you. Yeah. Okay. Now, next, uh, generate cover letter and apply to companies. This is in case we haven't got a job yet. Yeah. So where to get your cover letter? Yeah. What's the purpose of cover letter? The purpose is just for you to ask the company, I need to get a job. So I'm from IIUM, and the cover letter will actually say the dates. Yeah. Where we want you to start seven uh, March. But now. Because you still haven't got a job, yeah. So maybe when you show them the cover letter, it's already exceeded seven uh, March. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we don't change the date over there. That's just a tentative, tentative date. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you start fifteen March. It's okay. Twenty March. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, so so it's just a letter to say, you know, when you're supposed to start, and then you inform the company that you will still work for them, uh, for six months. Yeah. So we don't change the cover letter. Uh, dates yeah and then once accepted verify the placement so verify here means put your details in IAP dashboard yeah and this is where you put your company supervisor info as well yeah and uh, if you have not done so I think most of you have already registered yeah prereq yeah but if you have not done so yeah make sure you register for uh, IAP lah, yeah uh, so our IA course code if it's for BIT is if 44901 so here what does it mean for all yeah some of you have old study plan yeah, uh, but now if you want to register, you don't see this anymore. Yeah, you will not see it's going to be info 4901. Same thing with CS. Yeah, so BCS students is going to be CSCI 4901. And it must be section two. Yeah, because you start in semester two, so it's section two. Okay, because section this when you register, actually, you can see section one. Yeah, so section one means those who start in semester one last semester. Oh, perhaps this semester we haven't end yet. Eh? <laughs> We're ending the semester, yeah. But yeah, so section one is actually those who start last semester. I mean semester one, 2021. Yeah, section two is actually semester two, 2021. Okay. So start your internship. Uh, so we renumber all of this again. Yeah. So start your internship, prepare monthly report. So these are all the steps that you have to do. Yeah. So remember all this process flow. Yeah. If you cannot remember the chart too many, yeah. So just now just remember the important dates. So important dates, last date too. Uh, get a job first April and first date to submit your monthly report is 15 April. Yeah, so by now you should know all the important dates already. Yeah, and then um, uh, these are things that you have to prepare. Yeah, prepare for any report. This is like so a week before you end your internship, 
you need to submit this so that your company supervisor can access you. Yeah. And then you have to plan presentation. Yeah. So for final assessment and also here, um, first visit. So remember just now I was saying, yeah, so there's two visits just now, but the first is actually like optional. <clears throat> Say you're not happy. <laughs> so the first three months, yeah, you need to plan as well. Yeah. Uh, so we don't put this in the list, assuming everything is all good. Yeah. If everything is all good, so that's just set for the final. Yeah. But say, for example, uh, it's just that your company supervisor also wants to meet your lecturer, yeah? Uh, then just arrange the first three months, yeah? So sometimes the company supervisor is also like curious uh, what has been taught in uh, KICT. Maybe he or she feels that you don't have enough knowledge or something like that, yeah? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so you can also arrange that, yeah, in the first three months. But, uh, so, yeah, copy this link. I hope you can copy this link, yeah? Or perhaps we copy this in the chat, yeah? So... Wife, please. Yeah, so uh, I'm having my copy disabled right now. Uh, so maybe Dr. Liana can help me. Like, yeah? why, why is it disabled? Yeah? I just want to copy and put this in the chat here. Yeah? Control C, like, yeah? Control C. Yeah, who can see this? Is it mandatory to share the same uh, drive link as we use in the IP dashboard because I sign up with the Hotmail account? Uh, yeah, try try to have. Uh, I'm not sure yet, Tanvir. Maybe you need to update and put the Gmail account. Yeah. Okay, this is what happened in FYP. Yeah, FYP last time because one of them is actually registered to Hotmail, so they cannot enter the final uh, showcase. Yeah. Uh, so that's some limitation yeah, because the showcase was done in Google Meet. So because of Hotmail account, they cannot access. So he cannot present. Yeah? Uh, so this one student cannot present because of the Hotmail account. Yeah? But I think IEP doesn't really matter yeah? uh, because we don't actually do anything in our IEP dashboard. Yeah? Um, yeah, but because if you want to share Google Drive, then it's going to be Google. Yeah? So, okay, so the best, the best, I think the easy way to do this at the moment, <laughs> yeah, I think is to have a G, Gmail account, yeah. Then we, we avoid uh, complication, uh, yeah. So if we like, you know, have hot me, we might have some complications later on. So to be, uh, how to say, to be, to avoid all of these complications, maybe it's best to like re, um, just edit your, IAP particulars and have Gmail account there, yeah? And then, yes, exactly. So is it only optional to include supervisor? Okay. So for the visit two, is is compulsory, yeah? Visit two is compulsory. Visit one. Visit one is the one that we check out on you or you're not happy with the company or the company wants to check out with your lecturer, yeah? So visit one is optional. Visit two is actually compulsory. So that's why here in this list, plan for final assessment because this is the compulsory one where we want to see your... um company supervisors uh, feedback on you because you have worked six months and we also want to know when we say we actually lecturers yeah? so uh, lecturers wants to know how else we can improve our KICT courses yeah so because normally supervisors also have their own feedbacks yeah so like we do not teach like later subjects or something like that or perhaps um, or they want to give you some uh, how to say uh, compliments yeah you have done well blah 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 uh, so yeah maybe it's for them to give you compliments as well but but it's also for us to gauge yeah, whether we have like done the program well and for us to gauge whether we need to do more for our KICT programs yeah that's why the final visit is actually like almost like compulsory unless the situation where your supervisor company supervisor already assess you and he or she has to go overseas because of you know whatever he has to do yeah, or he or she has some other meetings that uh, that he cannot attend. Uh, that then it becomes optional because he already assessed you. But say he doesn't assess you, so it becomes compulsory. Yeah, no option to update the meal. Oh, okay. So, so then, Tamir, um, if there's no option, then maybe you have to write to the coordinator so we can actually like update for you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, write to your coordinator. To, to put in the Gmail address, okay? Oh, I thought we have, yeah? Because we do allow you to update your particulars. Mm. 
maybe we need to improve the system as well. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, so now I cannot really recall. Yeah, so then what do they see? I mean, we have to log in as you guys and we can see. Yeah, all right. Um, what else to inform? Okay, this is like almost towards the end. Highlights. Yeah, um, okay, again. There's no minimize, eh? so so never mind. <laughs> yeah, you should have minimize easier for me. Um uh, highlights. <laughs> this changing of company, yeah. Please, please try not to change company. <laughs> Why? Because there's a lot of process involved. Yeah, it's gonna be a long process, yeah. Unless it's a must. Yeah, when I say unless it's a must, it's like you know life of death situation or something like that yeah okay so what what is this all about yeah changing company changing company when you are like start your internship for about a few months already and you're given like filing jobs yeah nothing to do with it jobs or you know it's like maybe they use you as like personal stuff when i say personal stuff um how to give example yeah or perhaps like you know the the simplest example would be like you know ask you to become their um key in of their calendar only yeah uh, something like that lah. so some become their personal assistant uh, yeah uh, so this is not accepted lah, yeah uh, only if this situation occurs then only you can change company yeah but uh, if you say for example your boss is too strict on you uh, please try to how to say endure <laughs> yeah why do you need to endure because this is actually how working life is yeah uh, internship what is it all about yeah internship is actually how you'll be working later on so you will not be getting the bosses that you like, yeah? That's why people change companies most of the time anyway, yeah? Uh, so this is the thing, yeah? So change company only if you have to. And if it's like, how to say, just for the sake that uh, I don't like this company, uh, then don't do that, lah, yeah? So try to endure for six months. And here, um, when we say there's a long process, yeah? Because we have to actually like uh, go through the committee. This committee is called CHOI or Committee of Inquiry. So we really want to find evidence uh, not just say that, you know, oh, the company doesn't give me IT. You need to give us evidence as well. Or perhaps, like, for example, like, hopefully it's not like yeah, sexual harassment, things like that, yeah? Oh, only you need to have evidence, yeah? So hope it doesn't happen, but it might happen, we don't know, yeah? Uh, you need to have evidence. Uh, or perhaps, like, you know, they make you overwork, like, so much, yeah? So, so you're just an intern, they give you work until, you know, like, you don't have a life and things like that. Again, you need to give evidence. So only if you have evidence, then this change of company might be approved. So sometimes you ask for it, you might not even be approved yeah? because it's something about you cannot endure your uh, company's voice request. So he asked you to do like, uh, how to say, some programming job and you're not so good in programming. And then you say, oh, I want to change company. Ah, uh, that is not acceptable. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, sir, this is not, it's where you learn. So you need to ask them for guidance, yeah? So normally, yes, they do give you some trainings and things like that, yeah? Uh, so, but you have to like, this is where you learn to negotiate with your bosses, yeah? Okay, oh, I need a little bit more like, it's a new language, yeah? So a bit more time to study on that language, for example. So give me one week to study. Uh. So this is where you negotiate with your bosses because you never know about that language. Uh, you want to study for a while and then, uh, then you like do the task that they, he or she assigns you, yeah? Uh, so anyway, as I was saying just now, yeah, it was like something that cannot be avoided, something like they give you like for the, they use you as a personal, because uh, there are cases, yeah, there, there are cases where the company is using you for their personal benefit, uh, yeah? So you can actually request and we have to go through this com committee of inquiry. There's a lot of members inside here. Uh, so um, we have to see the evidence, we have to check the evidence, then we, approve or disapprove or reject uh, yeah approve or reject your request yeah so any change of company without this choice approval yeah say for example you simply change without informing us yeah ah your 20 percent just now remember uh, we did doubt that yeah because whatever you want to do you have to inform the coordinators yeah so that we are aware of where you are and we are not surprised yeah suddenly hey you're not working with this company anymore yeah so we need to know all of those information yeah so, um, and here as it says, if you do not inform or if you change company without choice approval, yeah, this marks will be reduced, yeah. Sometimes we reduce, it depends on cases, sometimes because it's genuine, yeah, they don't give you IT related cases, we don't deduct any marks. But sometimes um, it is your own fault, <laughs> yeah, if it's your own fault, yeah, so this might be, yeah, some, some students even get like minus 20. 
Yeah. Uh, so because it's your fault, something like that. Yeah. So this child will actually investigate the case and we actually like give marks accordingly. Yeah. Now, staying in Mahala. Yeah. So if you do want to stay in Mahala, I think in your IEP dashboard, there's one link yeah, for uh, application to your, uh, yeah, because you stay, stay one in Mahala. I, I can't remember, but I, I remember seeing in your IEP dashboard, yeah, this LIDV, yeah. So you can actually apply for it. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so as it says over here, generate LOI from IEP system. So yes, there is inside your IEP dashboard if you want to keep on staying at Mahala, yeah. Can I do outside Malaysia here? Can I do here means can I do work, right? Can I do internship? Maybe we forgot to put the word internship here. Can I do internship also of Malaysia? So the answer is yes, but only your home country, yeah? So if you're in the English, Indonesia, you can work in Indonesia. If you work in, uh, I mean, if you're from Arab, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, you can work there. If you're from Bangladesh, you can work in Bangladesh and so forth, yeah? But only in your home country. Now, situation like if you get offered by Google. <laughs> yeah, situation where you get offered by Microsoft US. Yeah, okay. We have Microsoft Malaysia, we have also Microsoft US. Yeah, so if you have like famous international company, yeah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, say for example, uh, of course, it's not the our case. Yeah, but you get uh, hired in NASA or something, of course, as I say, it's not our case because we're not engineering. Yeah, yes, you can. Yeah, if it's very big or giant, yes, we allow that because it's for your own exposure. Yeah. And we do have some interns last time who managed to get an internship with Google, I think. Uh, yeah. uh, but it was like so many semesters, aeons ago. Lah. <laughs> but I remember the case. Lah, yeah? Okay, so insurance coverage. Okay, luckily it's here. Uh, these are the contact person. Uh, instead, yeah, uh, this um, 4401 is extension, yeah, by the way. Uh, so, so this is all extension numbers uh, where you can actually ask them for your insurance. So GL means guarantee letter, yeah. Uh, this is healthcare, yeah? I I U M healthcare. Is it? Um, this is that. What is H C? Yeah, but Doctor Liana, do you remember what is H C? I forgot already. Yeah, I think it's the I U M healthcare. Ah, uh, healthcare, lah. Yeah? No, that's why lah. I say healthcare. I'm actually trying to read it myself, yeah. But I know I will I U M is called I U M wellness. <laughs> that's why it's not like I post post here. Yeah? This is the old one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so maybe lah, yeah, so maybe this was like, but now we, we call it wellness, yeah, so this in case you need, so GL, yeah, why do you need GL, because you're sick and you need to go to hospitals, yeah, uh, or perhaps if it's just like uh, some, we do have insurance as we, as you know, yeah, but sometimes they, they need to see GL, so these are the people that you need to contact, yeah, hopefully all of you are healthy, yeah, so throughout your internship, yeah, inshallah. Okay, serious cases. Ah, uh, this is something that we have to warn you, yeah. Again and again and again, yeah. Please, you are from IIUM. Please show good examples, yeah. Uh, don't forge documents, <laughs> yeah, or do anything which is illegal, yeah. So all of this is actually something that, you know, is bound to happen. Sometimes, um, I'm not sure where you are right now, yeah, but I'm sure we have like teach you for four years already, yeah. So you should have this Islamic in you yeah uh, whereby you have to be honest yeah you shouldn't be forging any documents and you shouldn't have bad attitudes you shouldn't be doing cyber crimes uh, we have to emphasize this we haven't emphasized enough of this yeah so we we learn about cyber crimes in classes yeah we learn about it even in your security classes yeah but uh, there are cases where um, you can be the potential of doing this as well, yeah? So what do you mean by cyber crimes? Yeah? If you sell your company information, those are considered cyber crimes already, yeah? So please don't embarrass IIUM. Please don't embarrass KICT especially, yeah? And your lecturers especially. So if you do all of this, yeah, we be so embarrassed. We have to solve your case, yeah? I mean, we say we have to solve your case. We have to actually like talk to your company supervisor. We have to apologize on your behalf, but yeah. It's a total embarrassment, lah, yeah. So please don't do any of this, yeah. So bad st statements in SOTMAT. We have a lot of these situations, yeah. Um, yeah. If you have problems, always contact us. We try our best to solve it, yeah. So, so that's why I, I inform you just now, yeah. Examiner is always there. We coordinators, there's so many of you. If we actually like accidentally, like you know, we didn't answer you just because there's so many of you, yeah. Uh, so yeah, examiner will be the best person, yeah. So of course you don't know them directly on the first week but you eventually will know their names uh, by the fourth week yeah uh, so 
inform them, tell them your problems. Yeah, don't straight away rent your problems in uh, social media. Yeah, because this is what happens most of the time. Yeah, straight away you just go to uh, Twitter and you tweet something. Yeah, uh, so please don't do all of this. Yeah? This is considered serious cases, and if you do any of this. Again, you're 20%, remember? <laughs> so we might deduct that. Yeah? We actually can tell, right, uh, from this. But we also can investigate. So maybe you have some, like, you know, fake Twitter accounts and things like that, but we still can investigate, yeah? Who actually sent out all those statements, yeah? Uh, so anyway, read this. No false documents, no bad statements in social media, yeah? About the internship company. Um, and then... And internship early, then the stipulated date, yeah? Because we know we need to work six months. So suddenly you just for, you know, I don't like to work there anymore. So you just like quit. Uh, don't do that. Yeah. We need to inform all sides. Yeah. You need to inform us. You need to inform the company. And remember, it's actually the requirement. Yeah. If you do not feel fulfill 180 days or six months, you will not graduate. Uh, yeah. This is actually very, very important. Yeah. If you don't feel this, fulfill these requirements of six months, yeah, you don't graduate. Uh, so you have worked so hard already, four years already, yeah, or more, yeah. Uh, so suddenly you don't graduate, yeah. So it's such a waste. Uh, so please make sure you end your internship. You get your company supervisor to assess you. You get examiners to assess you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't just finish early, yeah. So it's such a waste not to get a scroll from IIUM, yeah, because you have spent so many years already. And uh, poor performance, serious cases. Yeah? When we say this, yeah, normally sometimes the company supervisor will email directly to the examiner. Yeah? Uh, so that's why you need to know examiner names yeah, because we have to also inform this to your company supervisor. So then they are not happy with your performance or anything. So either they can tell you directly to help you, but sometimes there's so many things that they are not happy about. Yeah? Uh, so here... Um, we consider these serious cases, yeah. Uh, we need to plan, yeah. So the company supervisor and your examiner needs to plan how to help you to improve your performance, yeah. Say you know that you can't do a certain job. Uh, that's why we also advise, yeah. I think we advised you last time, yeah. Try to get a, a company that has IT support. Try to get a big company where they have a lot of support, yeah. Yes? Hello? Okay, so accident might, yeah? Okay, never mind. So back where I was saying over, over here, yeah? Say you were in a small company. Oh, they ask you to create a system, yeah? Everything from scratch and there's no support. How can you give them per, I mean, good performance when there's no support and you don't know what they want and everything like that, yeah? Uh, so here this is considered not poor performance. Yeah? This is considered that they have like dumb everything to you. Uh, so that's why, yeah? Here you have to inform your examiner what's going on, yeah? What's the situation? So that uh, this will not be a complaint from your company. And it's also like not a complaint from anyone yeah? because you have already informed everyone from the beginning. The company has given me such a big task. I'm uh, just an intern student, yeah. Uh, intern worker, not intern student, yeah. Uh, internship worker, lah, yeah. And um, yeah, and they wanted me to like create one big system, yeah, because they're okay. This actually depends on you, yeah. There are situations where the student managed to do it because it's an excellent student, yeah. So they were assigned to uh, create a system for the company, but uh, like two of them, like from IAUM, work there, and these two students have to actually create the system, and they managed to do it. Alhamdulillah, yeah. But say you really need help, yeah. So please uh, contact your examiner about this, yeah. All right. Uh, so um, that's why, as I said earlier, yeah, we actually advise you to. When you work, ask them. Ask them a lot of questions. When they ask you any question, oh, ask them a lot. Yeah? What will be my task? What will be given to me? Who will be my support? So there should be a lot of questions coming from you. Don't be just quiet because you just want to have a job. No, yeah? Uh, you need to ask them, like, you know, will, will I be working in a team? Uh, will I be, like, having some support if I have any problems? So you have to actually ask all those questions to your company, yeah? Okay, last but not least, yeah? Uh, this is about your... Uh, it's just a reminder, yeah, uh, what to do. So remember to, if you haven't done so, yeah, so register uh, to IAP. Okay, remember IAP dashboard different. IAP, register IAP is different, yeah. This is actually AMAT system, yeah. The AMAT system where you have to register like just your normal courses, yeah. Uh, so you have to actually re register this. And then um, uh, inform and discuss with examiner and coordinator if you have any issues. Uh, this is the one that I was stressing just now so many times, yeah. Release of marks. Uh, so here, yeah, we do not release marks early. Yeah? So some students, they want to graduate. Uh, perhaps because 
they want to start work early yeah so the the company say or oh, they want to see uh the transcript or whatever yeah so we cannot release the marks early yeah it depends on senate meeting so this is just to inform you that um yeah there are rules <laughs> yeah so there are process there are rules there are procedures like basically yeah so once we enter all the marks just like you know when you see your your marks for last semester right uh so actually we have to go and approve all of this first yeah and then uh the senate meeting is actually to see to see your graduation status yeah so once everything's okay you will see your graduation status okay then only yeah but uh here say you that company wants to offer you a permanent job, yeah? What you can do is to write to uh, KICT, DDSDCE, I think, uh, yeah? To inform them that, yes, you have finished your uh, duration, you have finished your study duration, and you are just waiting for your graduation confirmation. They can help you to prepare that letter. Uh, yeah? So that's, that's something that you can ask from our kuliah, okay? But you cannot ask for release on marks early. So that's why it's written in bold over here, yeah? Because there are many students who want this to be released early, which we can't do. Okay. Any questions? This is the last, I think, yeah? So last but not least, we wish you all the best in your internship. Stay strong. So why we say <laughs> stay strong over here? Because there's going to be a lot of hurdles uh, or perhaps obstacles, yeah? Because it's a working environment, yeah? So it's a real situation where you actually have to work, yeah? Uh, so stay strong and make us proud. Okay, questions? Madam, Madam. Yes. Uh, yeah. If let's say that I I do internship in uh, maybe uh, around Gombak, right? Uh, oh, yes. Do I need to, you know, uh, apply LIDB for Mahala? Uh, uh, it, it depends where you want to stay. If you want to stay, I mean, I mean, right now you have internship in Gombak, yeah. right? Ah, uh, yes. If you want to stay in Mahala, yes, you have. You still have to uh apply, yeah. Apply inside the system or you don't need to. Uh, inside, uh, AP dashboard actually it helps you to write a letter, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay thank uh, you. because uh, it has like a link there where you can straight away fill up, yeah, for the application. Instead, okay. instead when I uh uh. Fill in the the placement, right? Uh huh. So that you can straight away go to LIDV in Mahala application. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh. when you uh, fill up the placement, yes, you can actually see it already. Yeah, because it's just like the next step. I think next step page. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you, madam. Okay, welcome. Where to do attendance? Uh, someone can help to <laughs> put like the attendance link. Uh, and then, okay, Dr. Liana already put the DDSDCE, yeah. Uh, so we cannot release the marks early, but we can give you letter of completion, yeah. Uh, okay, so I think, yeah. So I'm actually reading the chat, yeah. So any other questions? Yeah, so. So let us know now, easier, rather than in the chat, yeah. Or perhaps you think about it later, then it's fine as well, yeah. But yeah, it's best that if you remember, uh, right now, yeah, ask the questions, but if not, yeah, you can always ask later. But right now, I see no madam so far. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So, if there's no more questions, we can end this early. So, it's already 11, one, one hour. Alhamdulillah, yeah. Um, so, last, last call. No questions, yeah? Uh, so, I'm going to stop sharing, I guess. Um, all the best. Uh, where, where can we get? Oh, we can give you the slides, yeah? So, later on, we can give you the slides. Um, and... Inshallah, uh, we also give you or share the video recording. Yeah, so I think we can stop the recording now. Oh, yeah, uh, brother Hafizi, and let's end this with Tasbih Kifara and Surah Wal Ash. Thanks, uh, yeah, for uh, for coming to this briefing. So I hope we managed to answer some of the questions. So about the feedback from the supervisor, we have to get back to you because I don't really remember <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah so that one I think that's the only thing uh, pending yeah um, feedback from your supervisor but normally your supervisor will tell you directly yeah so if he or she is not happy he will tell you directly okay so yeah thank you everyone for coming to this session all right thank you madam have a nice day yeah you, all of you have a nice day as well yeah and congratulations thank you madam, thank you, madam.
Yeah, take care, everyone. Okay, so okay, so since we have this uh WhatsApp group, yeah, so somebody was asking for the recording and the slides and everything, yeah, we will share it uh through the WhatsApp group, okay. So for those who haven't joined the WhatsApp group, uh, yeah, like uh, you you get into it, yeah, but you have to like inform me, yeah. Uh, I mean, I have to say approve. You get the link for the WhatsApp group. Okay. So if it's a BCS, you have to ask Dr. Liana. Thank you, everyone. So, yeah. I'm Thank you, gonna, madam. Yeah, yeah. I was going to mute myself, actually. That's what I was going to do. You. Yeah. Okay. So I think we can leave here. Yeah? No, I'm actually just waiting for any questions. So everyone just say thank you. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Okay. I forgot to say, yeah. Uh, yeah, have a good internship. Lah. I hope everyone is happy and everyone is like having a good company and all the best. Okay. Um, madam. Yes. May I ask for the plan presentation? What is the meaning by plan presentation? That means you plan for it. Yeah, you plan uh, the dates, yeah, uh, get their free time, yeah. And you have your slides ready for them, yeah? So when you present, you actually have to present what you have been doing in the company, yeah? Uh, so you have to say for the for the past six months, these are the tasks, what have you learned? Uh, so I think there's a template for it. I'm not sure, but basically what you have done throughout. So that's a plan. That's what it means by plan presentation, yeah? You plan for the time. <laughs> yeah, you plan for your supervisor time. You plan for your examiner time, okay? That's oh, that the date we... Okay, so here you have to plan either like two weeks before you end your internship. Uh, this is with, if it's final assessment, lah. Yeah. Oh, two weeks before. Uh, two weeks. Uh, two weeks or one week before. Yeah. In the slide we say one week before, lah. But I always ask you to plan early because sometimes for them to answer your email also take some time, right? <laughs> yeah. So you just email them first. I when are you free? Uh, so maybe you can email them early, and then uh, or if it's your company supervisor, can just ask them directly. Yeah, uh, and then when's your free time? And then you inform your examiner, uh, okay, my boss is free during these dates. Then you can give the list of dates to your examiner and he or she can pick the dates when they're going to have that, you know, the meeting, okay? Oh, I see. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. All right. Madam? Yes? Uh, for the verification, uh, do we really need to uh, send it on the first day or we can send it earlier? You can send earlier. If you already know your company supervisor, you can send it earlier, yeah? All like right. now you already know your company supervisor, for example, right? You can fill it up now and then um, because once you fill it up, your company supervisor will get the email. All right? Okay, thank you, madam. You're welcome. All right, so those who are staying behind have questions. Yeah, any more questions? <laughs> Most of them already say thank you. Uh, no, so thank you. All right. Thank okay. You. Okay. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Have a good weekend, I guess. All right. I'm leaving here. Yeah? Okay. So if there's no more questions, oh, yeah. I forgot to ask Dr. Liana to add in just now. Yeah. I forgot the last part just now. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Atashima. I from everything. <laughs> I hope yeah. so. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Assalamualaikum.